I'm Jeeva Somosundaram. I'm an assistant professor in decision sciences in the operations and technology department of uh, IE Business School. My research primarily focuses on understanding human behavior through mathematical modeling and experiments. First stream of research focuses on how people make decisions under risk. Specifically, I look at uh, how emotions such as regret and disappointment affect uh, how people make decisions, uh, risky decisions. I also have another stream of research that focuses on habit formation, uh, specifically to understand how people form habits and uh, how do you inculcate positive habits uh, in people and how do you remove uh, undesirable habit from people. And I study habit formation in different domains such as energy conservation and uh, digital addiction. This uh, project was an outcome of my uh, postdoctoral research. Uh, so the main objective, as I told you, we are motivated more by the human behavior part. We are, uh, we are, the main objective is to understand habit formation. How do people form habits? And uh, since uh, I was in Singapore at that time, uh, uh, this context of AC temperature uh, 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 was, was an excellent context to study habit formation. In Singapore, uh, it's a tropical country uh, and uh, the temperature is always around 30 degrees uh, or higher. Uh, and uh, so uh, almost 80% of the house have air condition. So we all know that the duration we use here, we use the AC uh, affects your energy, energy consumption. But there is also one more part, the temperature that you set in your AC also affects the energy consumption. So the lower the temperature in your AC, or higher the difference between your AC temperature and the outside temperature, higher is the energy consumption. Basically, we wanted to see if we can make people adapt to a higher temperature. We recruited subjects who are living in uh, individual housing units with air condition. We installed sensors in their uh, rooms. We had a baseline period where we tracked their room temperature for a week or so. And then uh, we know what is the temperature that they set in their air condition. We randomized the subjects into three groups. Okay, So one is the control condition where they were just told that uh, increasing air conditional temperature is beneficial for the environment. When people increase the temperature, they were eligible to receive money so we pay them money and then what we did we had this intervention period for some time and then we removed the incentives and then we saw whether they adapted to a higher temperature and they keep setting higher temperature in their AC uh, uh, in their uh, room even after the incentive is removed. What we find is uh, uh, when uh, people do it gradually uh, when uh, when people increase by one degree at a time okay they they adapted to the higher temperature and even when the incentive is removed they kept uh, uh, having a higher temperature but when people uh, did it abruptly uh, then uh, what they did is they reverted back to the uh, original temperature once the incentive was removed uh, so this is the uh, main uh, finding of the study I just hope that uh, uh, people uh, are more conscious about global warming. Uh, global warming is an important issue and uh, it's an urgent issue that we need to address. And I think each of us can do our little uh, to uh, reduce energy consumption and to save the world. As I discussed in my uh, research, uh, just increasing your air conditioned temperature by one or two degrees can reduce your energy consumption by almost 10 to 15 percent. We show that uh, people who increase their uh, AC temperature had a lower energy consumption. I just do these research mainly for uh, the curiosity and the fun part of it to understand human behavior. But I hope that my research has some actionable insights uh, which would be very useful to help the society and uh, I hope I can uh, push the frontiers of uh, humanity and science uh, through my research.